Hello, welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. I'm Jeff Phillips and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how I constructed the various major types of quadrilateral that you can see here. So I'll move across to the right into the non-printing area. The easiest to construct is a rectangle using the rectangles and squares tools. Click on that and just drag a rectangle. Give it a fill, back F1 or back to the select tool and there we have it. For the square, click on the rectangles and squares tool, control shift you can still get rectangles that way, but um, you can also get squares, it locks into positions there, and give it a fill and F1. Now the next shape is a parallelogram. I'll start with this rectangle here, Control D to duplicate it, drag it across and click it a second time, and you can drag the shear handles. It's a quick way to get a parallelogram. If you wish to get a rhombus, you can uh, start with a rectangle tool, control D, drag that down. Now I'm going to convert it to a path, so path, object to path, N for nodes tool, and then if I drag around those two handles, and just click this little black arrow to the right, be careful not to stray onto the node itself, and holding down shift, you can drag across and back to the select tool. And that's an isosceles trapezium. I should point out that for a perspective effect, when we've got the node tool active and we select two nodes, we need this icon here clicked, and that produces these little black arrows that we can then hold down shift with and drag into a perspective effect. For a non-isosceles trapezium, I'll start with the rectangle again, Control D to duplicate, path, object to path, in for nodes tool, and just click and hold down Control to drag you know, a node into position and back to the select tool. For, let's see what else we've got to do. For a kite, I'll start with a square, control D to duplicate that, and left square bracket key three times because it goes in increments of 15 degrees, so three times is 45 degrees. Again, turn it into a path, path, object to path. If we didn't do that, all these nodes wouldn't appear. Then click the node you want, hold down control, and you've got a kite. If you wish to rotate that into another position, you can use this tool here, and there's the kite. For any general quadrilateral, just the Bezier Pen tool, just click. Don't have to click and drag, just click, move, and then click again. Click, and when it turns red, you're hovering over the joining up node. Click back to the select tool and give it a fill. That leaves the probably the most fiddly to construct. If someone has a better way, please let me know. But to this one, I'll certainly grind out a, a parallelogram for you. With the Bezier Pen tool, click, control, click, and enter, and that's one side. Back to the select tool, control D to duplicate, and I'm going to use the arrow, the um, square bracket key, sorry, a couple of times to angle the side. I could have done it this way, I control D to duplicate that. Click the line a second time and then drag to whatever angle you want. But uh, let's just go with the first one. If I drag that into position, it should lock cusp node to cusp node, which is this icon highlighted here. Drag a marquee around both of them, an N for node tool, and then the marquee around where I want to join them. Looks like nothing's happened, but uh, this will work and click join two nodes into one there and there we have it. I can duplicate that, control D and then I reflect it uh, in a vertical and a horizontal axis then drag it into position and you can see it snaps together. A marquee around the lot, end for node tool and we drag around the corner we want to join there and this icon up here. Then we do the other bit we want to join, looks like it's disappeared but bear with me. Click this icon and it's joined. We know it's a complete shape because if we click fill, it fills in there. And there you can see we have all the quadrilaterals that uh, we opened up with. I hope this has been of use to you and once again thanks for watching.